Hello there, if you clicked on this video, it probably means that in less than two weeks, you will be watching the F1 night race in Singapore and I envy you. Anyway, I am here to share a few tips with you and they are based on my experience from watching the race last year, just last year. And if you're interested to see what it was like watching from the pit grandstand, I'll put a link here. Yes, that's Lewis. I'll put a link here to my video of that. Anyway, let's move on with the tips. Tip number one is to choose your location well. In my case, I opted for the pit grandstand because I wanted to see the off-track action. Although there are huge screens scattered around the venue, as a fan, it's nice to see what goes on outside of the race. And that's what I had the pleasure of watching from the pit grandstand. Um, also, if you don't have a ticket yet, make sure to get the three-day ticket because the price difference between the three-day ticket and the Sunday race is very, very minimal. For example, the pit grandstand ticket for the Sunday race is at... 988 Singapore dollars while the three day ticket is for a thousand three hundred and eighty eight dollars. So, if you still have the chance to get a three day ticket, get that. And tip number two is to download the app. The app is Singapore GP, and let me show you what it looks like Singapore GP, Singapore GP. That's the logo. This one here. And on the app, they include a map of the venue and the schedule of performances, etc. And you can tag which ones you're interested in watching. And you'll actually get reminders when they're about to start. You'll also receive important notifications on the app before and even during the event. Um, let me show you an example. Last year, an example they notified when the national anthem was about to begin they also notified performance i was waiting for was about to start and there was even a notification at 10 11 p.m saying that the train service at city hall mrt will be extended it says last train depart city hall mrt station at 1 15 a.m please allocate sufficient travel time and expect the station to be crowded yes it was very crowded so that's very important tip number three is to prepare for the weather this is for us who do not have the luxury of watching from an enclosed space like those who are in the suites etc and singapore is a very warm place and if, if you're not used to it you might find yourself feeling uncomfortable so it's best to come prepared wear light clothing bring a fan with you a hat and sunglasses and that's not it make sure that you come prepared for the rain as well bring a poncho or an umbrella and wear footwear that you don't mind getting drenched in rain we actually experienced heavy rain last year and the race got delayed for i think an hour or two i think an hour in the beginning people with ponchos just like myself stayed in the grandstand but when the rain wouldn't stop and only kept getting stronger we had to find some shade and found ourselves under the grandstand and it wasn't enough to shield us from the rain so my legs got wet um this is what i wore i resigned this and a few weeks later lewis actually released a shirt that's similar to this only with his eyes closed under his brand 44. i wore shorts and sandals so I really didn't mind getting my sandals wet. You know, there was even one guy who just took off his shirt and embraced the rain. I just hope he didn't get sick after that. Tip number four, food and beverage. So to stay hydrated and save some money, bring bottled water with you. But make sure to mind the guidelines for the material that's allowed as well as the maximum volume. There are water dispensers scattered around the venue, but the queue tends to get long, so 
you can also buy from the shops as well. I was able to buy a bratwurst and a coke for I think 14 or 18 dollars. Yes, it's pretty steep and I kind of expected it already. So it's either eat heavy before the race or just bring money with you. Tip number five, transportation. Take note that because it is a street circuit, the venue extends further than the track and some streets will be closed and this will affect the bus routes. I actually made the mistake of taking a bus only to be asked to disembark at the next stop. So I think it's best to review the map and see which gate is the best for you and take either the train or a taxi. And come nighttime when it's time to go home, they do extend the operating hours of the MRT. Just a quick story, I made the mistake of not bringing a power bank. So my phone ran out of battery. But before it did, I actually took a picture of the map of my route using my camera and used it as my reference. I walked to the nearest train station. I think it was City Hall. But it was jam-packed. The queue reached the street level and... I was not willing to wait, so I walked all the way to another station. I'm not sure if it's Raffles or whatever. I just went to a different station. If I had actually had my phone with me that time, I would have walked all the way back to my hotel since it was apparently very walkable. So that's it. I hope this is helpful. Oh, additional tip. Additional tip. I actually bought, brought with me and this was very helpful I got myself a monocular perhaps given the chance I would have just brought the regular binoculars but this was helpful too it doubles as an attachment to the phone so you attach this and you clip this is actually the phone I used last year and you clip it on your phone and if you watch a video of my F1 experience last year it was basically shot using my phone. The close-ups were shot using my phone. So that's it. Enjoy your time at the event. It's a very, very fun place. The mood was very festive. I attended all by myself, but I still had lots of fun just being there and experiencing it for the first time. That's it. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, I would appreciate it thumbs up and perhaps a subscribe and maybe next year i'll watch race but at a different venue enjoy